Fest is a huge community event for Spokane. Yeah, it takes thousands of volunteers to pull it off, so even if you are not a player, you can still be part of the action. KXLY 4's Andy Bishop is live tonight. Andy, HoopFest needs court monitors. Well, they certainly do. HoopFest needs about 25 more volunteers to oversee 14,000 games on HoopFest weekend. Now, the folks that have already signed up are checking in here at the Lincoln Center. Oh, I'm just going to grab that. <laughs> I'm, I'm interrupting the process, but I'm going to. They're picking up these these uh, packets, and they're going to head into the ballroom here behind me, where they will uh, sit through about an hour hour or two of training, really getting everything, uh, all the information they need to know. Before for HoopFest weekend. Now, so far, uh, between six and 700 court monitors have signed up to volunteer HoopFest weekend. Volunteers are in charge of every game on their court and overseeing, make sure that folks are following the rules. They also have to make sure that the brackets and their courts are running on time. Tonight is one of four training sessions set before the big weekend. Well, anybody can do it, but we're looking for people that have some basketball experience, maybe have played, maybe have coached. If they don't have basketball experience, and we can put them on a court where the players call their own fouls. I'm just looking for people that are good at interacting with other people and that can have a good time. And if you sign up to be a monitor, you not only get to experience Hoop Fest, but you get to some pretty cool swag, hats, shorts, t-shirts, and a pair of Nike shoes. Now you can sign up for both days or for Sunday alone. If you just sign up for Sunday, you only get a t-shirt. For more information on how to be a court monitor, you can head to our website at kxly.com. Reporting live in North Spokane, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.